Sally and Mara. That's supposed to be good morning in Greek. I don't know if I pronounced it right, but there you go. Kelly Mara. Good morning from Athens, Greece. Okay, so I realized this is my first vlog for Globetrotting Schoolers. We didn't get to do this in Peru because I got so sick and I lost my voice and I was just focused on catching my breath. That high altitude was a thing to be reckoned with. But anyway, we are here now in Greece and we will try to do vlogging as much as possible. But you won't expect me to be out on the street and holding a camera and talking because I don't know, I'm just not coordinated that way. I might trip or whatever and I have two kids with me most of the time to take care of and be watching the surroundings. So might take some videos of the places that we're gonna go to, give you a bit of information as much as we can. But most of the vlogging videos would have to be here in our rented Airbnb place, which is awesome by the way. But uh, yeah, so I'll just do it at home. So it'll be more comfortable that way. And I wouldn't be out on the street and worry that somebody might grab my phone or my camera or whatnot. And um, we will be staying here in Greece for about two months. Most of that will be spent here in Athens while my husband is off for a rotation at work. And um, as soon as he comes back, we would explore most of the Greek islands like Crete, Santorini, which has been in my bucket list for the longest time, and um, Mykonos, maybe on those islands. Okay, so as you all know, we are from Fort McMurray and um, we went to Edmonton, stayed there a few days so I can process my passport, my Canadian passport. I want to get that done and over with before leaving the country. And so from Edmonton, we flew to Frankfurt, that is our layover, that was our layover, um, Edmonton to Calgary, okay, correction, Edmonton to Calgary, an hour, um, we, our flight was delayed, uh, leaving Edmonton for about 25 minutes, and originally, we only had about 50 minutes layover in, um, Calgary for our Frankfurt flight. So as soon as we got off the plane, we were running, sprinting to get to our arcade for Frankfurt. So this is all via Air Canada. So it was also Air Canada uh, from Calgary to Frankfurt. That was about eight and a half to nine hours flight by Air Canada. And uh, well, it wasn't time. They were very good at being on time. Once we got to Frankfurt, maybe we just have, we just had some kind of, uh, you know, high expectation. We wanted to, you know, we had this idea of German efficiency. And once we got to Frankfurt, um, from the terminal, um, from the plane, you disembark, you ride it in a shuttle going to the, the airport. And uh, once we got there, so we got up to the second floor and stuff, and we were like um, faced with it, with these lines. There were so many students or like some teams, maybe on some sports events or whatnot. But they would they would have a separate um, what do you call this lines for gates A, B, C, D, A. I don't know, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, whatever. But on our on our boarding pass, we, we got our boarding pass in Edmonton, but it did not specify what gate are we going 
to go for um, Frankfurt, Athens. So um, we didn't even know which line to fall into. So we kind of found some information desk who told us that our gate is A26. So at least we know which gate, what letter we're falling in line with. So we're falling in line in gate A because it's supposed to be A26. Kate A and A was such a long line. Well, s s staff saw us and said, Hey, hey, family, go over here, go over here. So it was a shorter line with you know, with family, younger kids, and stuff. And while we were falling in line there, uh, we heard the staff instructing the line of people going through immigration, going into Frankfurt. Uh, terminal um and say hey um uh, line for um canadians and u.s citizens only so here and we're just sort of wondering so okay we were like canadian u.s citizens but we're wondering so what's you know some special lines and whatnot we're kind of amused anyway so we got in to the terminal by kate a and we have to find it. It was a long, long walk going to Terminal A. And um, so we found A26. But our flight, so we had a seven hour layover in Frankfurt, right? So you cannot see what gate actually, we were assuming it's A26 because they told us A26. But we could not see it on the, on the boards yet because, you know, they only, get to a certain time and we have to wait because our boarding time is 6 p.m. So that will take a longer time to show on the uh, the board. And um, so we decided to have some lunch and uh, after getting to uh, gate A, closer to gate A26, we decided to get some lunch, excited about, you know, trying some authentic German food, but maybe the airport was not the best place to get the that authentic yummy german food that we were envisioning so we're kind of uh, okay so this is frankfurt it was kind of a well i'm just gonna say that the airport we got so used with a uh, security um screening in maybe canada us we kind of smoother it was kind of slow and kind of like not so smooth with the Frankfurt airport, but okay, so we're prepared to do that. I mean, we have been to some places with um, more or less less efficient um, screening. Um, but like I said, we were trying to, we have envisioned some German efficiency, experiencing the German effic efficiency somehow, at least at the airport but we kind of didn't get it, but it's okay. So we had some lunch and we had this, you know, um, some kind of uh, sausage or whatnot. We're kind of like surprised with the serving. I hope that's not the amount of serving we get to encounter in Europe because, you know, we might lose weight. We got so used to the huge servings in North America. But anyway, so we had lunch, we, we had, we, let's just say we had better food. We had tasted better food than what we got, what we ordered for lunch. Anyways, that was not the, the worst part of the whole Frankfurt layover, but the gate. So we went to 826 and we waited there and once we got to 826, we realized that there's the, the Athens flight is not going to be departing from that gate. We looked, finally, you know, it's shown on the board and it says 821. So we went to 821. Once we get to 821, we saw on the uh, screen Athens. Okay, so we, okay. But then as soon as we got there, about five minutes after, um, they told us, to uh, go to 836 
So from A21 to A36, we sprinted all the way because it was like, you know, 30 minutes before boarding. So we went there, A36, and some other passengers that have been waiting in A21. So we went to A36. As soon as we got to A A36, there was like a commotion, blah, blah, blah. And um, we were told to go to A24. So from A36, we went to A24. Like, come on, girls. Everybody was rushing and all that. Oh, gosh. This is like an exercise, whatnot. So, from when we, we got to A24, when I said, um, yeah, this could be it. I think A24. So from A26, we went to A21, then we went to A36, then A24. And so we were thinking that the plane could be just right there after like the covered bridge, you know, whatever you call it. But then we had to uh, go downstairs and there's no elevator. So we had to carry our uh, hand carry and we had, we had to lift our hand carry luggage all the way to the ground floor where a shuttle took us to the plane and finally we were on the plane to Athens good thing we were able to take a little nap in uh, Frankfurt airport for maybe a couple of hours because we haven't had any sleep um, it was a different time zone in Canada obviously so good thing we were able to take a couple of hours nap and that, you know, we had some energy enough to get through the Athens, uh, to Frankfurt Athens flight. So anyway, uh, Aegean air was great. The uh, food was great. Um, and we got to Athens about 9.35, get through home. Um, claim baggage, uh, baggage claim and stuff. We didn't uh, have to go through immigration because our port of entry into Europe, into, yeah, Europe was uh, Frankfurt, Germany. So we had our immigration, our passports checked there. And in Athens, we just had to claim our bag. So um, so we, had, uh, we went to the baggage claim, got our stuff, and our driver was waiting for us with our name. Thankfully, we well there could be some cheaper option from airport from the airport to the city, but you could take a taxi, you could take a metro. But we had so much luggages, and it's kind of nighttime, and we had two kids, so we just chose to have the Airbnb uh, owner or no unit owner um, arrange some sort of. Uh, transportation vehicle for us will be cheap cheaper oh, not, not cheaper but safer we paid 65 euro the airport the athens international airport to the um, city center where we are staying right now is about 40 minutes and that is like without traffic late at night on a weekend so we were like doing some smooth traveling down the um, I don't know I forgot what he called it but anyway in the highway and um, so it's kind of far from the city center the uh, international airport so we got here the owner of the Airbnb unit um, uh, met us helped us get up and stuff like that and we tried to get some sleep and now here we are we had uh, some sort of breakfast i just had my coffee and decided to do this vlog to get it out of the way it's hard to write it all down you know i'll, I'll just be talking here bubbling i'm not used to vlogging in fact 
the kids should be doing this, but they said they're kind of shy. It's their, it's their page, globe trotting schoolers, but they're kind of shy. And maybe, you know, I would have to try it out myself first before the kids would do it. But, you know, they'll get there. So right now I'm not used to vlogging or talking on a video or what, but I'm just going to do my best to bring Greece to you um, based on our experiences. So uh, that's it for now. Um, there might be some activities today that we have planned, but mostly it's just to get us settled in, doing some grocery, find it wherever it is, get some SIM card, and maybe get some nap to just try to get rid, rid of the uh, jet lag completely. So that's it for now. Sorry for babbling, but I'm just like trying to get all the information for you. you might have missed one or two. So I'll get back to that. But this is the start. And um, I hope you keep on watching. Bye for now.